Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Oh, welcome back to the <laughs> God. That was not what I was expecting at all. Welcome back to the basement yard. How's everyone doing? Merry Grimmage. Merry Grimmage. Merry Chin Grimmage. Merry Critch Mitch. Critch Mitch. Yeah. Or Happy Ganaka. Happy Ganaka. Um, when is Ganaka? Ghana. What? You know, figure it out. I mean, I, it's long. We can't miss. It's eight days, right? Yeah, yeah. Eight it's crazy eight, nights. Eight crazy nights. I saw that cartoon movie. They don't get crazy. They don't really get that crazy. I mean, they, they get crazy. Do the Jews get nuts? Mm-hmm. They want to get nuts. I don't. I feel like they like. How crazy can Hanukkah really get? Unless no. they're like <clears throat> raging. No, dude. Jews rage. Do they? Hell yeah. I don't think I've ever met a raging Jew. What? Like a like a partier. What? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, I know crazy rage Jew rager, ragers. Really? Yeah, ragers. This I'm trying to don't fit even it in. Try it. Don't even try it. Yeah, I feel like every person that is Jewish that I know, I all then again most of the Jews that I knew it was when I was like really young, so they weren't raging back then. I will say this: they smoked a lot of cigarettes and listened to a lot. Oh, smoked a lot of weed too. Listen to a lot of fucking Green Day. Damn, they slammed heaters. Dude, they were fucking piping them back like it was. Pitch, pitch, pitch. And then also like wake me up when September ends. Like I, I kid you not. Like long sleeve shirts with the sleeves were checker printed, and then yeah, well done. And then like going off on some Green Day. Damn, dude. They were just going fucking ape shit on some Green Day. That's cute. I knew one kid who was uh, he was Jewish. Uh, and he like would chew on his sleeve and one day in class chewed the whole fucking sleeve and unrolled it and his arm was wet like a fucking psychopath. What is he like a idiot? Like a little puppy or something? Maybe he might be a little puppy. An idiot. He's definitely stupid. Very heavily stupid. I saw a video of, um, there's a Jewish holiday that I'm not familiar with. It's not like Yom Kippur or any of the popular ones. It, It was, it's something with a P. Mm-hmm. I, I don't remember what it, what it is, but um, you definitely don't want to try it. <laughs> no, I I don't even know like the spelling of it. Like, yeah, you know whatever. But uh, there's this kid. Um, actually, you guys can go check it out. It's an Instagram page called Side Talk NYC. Fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. Like just going around New York City, like interviewing people. It's so good. It's oh, amazing. I think I saw uh, you I posted, posted one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there was one where he goes around in like a Jewish neighborhood, probably in Brooklyn, and it was like. You know, they were celebrating something, and he just walked in to a house <laughs> with like a big, like Jew razor was going on. Oh man, that's dangerous. They rage hard too. That's really dangerous. Big Trump guys, are they? Yeah, and they were they were chanting that too, which was a little scary. Wait, they were chanting it. They were chanting. They were chanters. Any ch- no matter what it is, I hate chanting. You chant for something, you're fucking weird. Yeah, because when I hear chants, I think of enchantment. And then I'm afraid if someone's going to put a spell on me. Bingo. That's exactly what it is. You know like, what I mean? It doesn't matter what you're chanting for. You could be chanting for like, you know, fucking Netflix. Get away from me. You're probably a, a demon. I, yeah. I don't really like when people talk in unison. I don't even like when people... <laughs> I don't even like when people what? like sing happy birthday. Like a part of that makes me uncomfortable. I'm not, really? I'm not even kidding. Like literally, if, even if it's my birthday and it's three people singing happy birthday, I'm like, I don't like... Yeah. What do you do? Up. Do you join in? Yeah. I'm That's t- the <laughs> thing. I, I've joined in on my own happy birthday. You ever have someone sing happy birthday to somebody? Like you're at, you're at a place and they're singing happy birthday to, birthday to someone else. Like someone... Like a party, not a restaurant. Yeah. But they have so many nicknames. And you don't know what to say. Well, it's like for so like, like mom, oh, for like grandma. Miss, oh, Missy. It's like me, moppy. And then it's like yeah. grandma. And then old bitch. And then like the people, like for instance, like the people like call them like their real name. Wait, first of all, old bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Happy birthday, old slut. Old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, then it, yeah, it's like me, ma, grandma, uh, peepaw. You yeah. know, uh, whatever their name is deep, and stuff deep. like that. Grandma, like, there's nothing. I, Nonna, Nini, as I brought. I am the most uncomfortable when I, like, people give me gifts to open because. You hate them? No, no. Like, what do I, you do when you hate a gift? Open it. I've right never, now. I've never, like, uh, legitimately, you know how I am. I'm very sentimental. I've never received a gift and hated it, but. I know that, like, when someone giving me a gift, they need to see, like, the pomp and circumstance. Yeah, so they yeah. want me to be like, oh, I needed this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. But, like, I've also done that, and then I've done the other end of the spectrum where I'm like, you know what? I really needed this. Thank you so much. Oh, I and hate that. That is such a fucking white dad reaction. Yeah. Uh, this is 
You know what? That's, that Logistically, was... <laughs> this is a good gift. You know, oh my god, I was just thinking about getting this for myself. Oh my god. I, I do I have done that. It makes me uncomfortable. But like there's no there's no in between. Like what is a way to react that people are gonna like? I don't know, but if you're gonna give a gift that's just like super regs, you can't expect like a big reaction from people. Like if you're giving me socks, even if they're See, like careful, I love socks. I know, but like even if they're just like, you know, no, just like a regular pair of socks, not like socks with like a you know, a pair of tits sewn in or something. I'm talking about just like a green socks or something. Yeah, yeah. But even if they're like, you know, they're oh they're super warm, they're double pleated or whatever the fuck, I don't even know what that socks means. Socks are not pleated. I don't know anything, Frankie. <laughs> Fair enough. But like what am I how, it's socks. At the end of the day, like, how am I supposed to? Oh, am I supposed yeah. to suck the oxygen out of the room for these fucking socks? Yeah, people want you to do that, and I like I can't do that. The only time that I've ever like not received a gift well was my mom for my birthday a couple of years ago. She, my mom loves to buy me graphic tees. I'll be fucking eighty years old, and I'll have a fucking <laughs> a tee with like half of the fucking half of Batman's face and half of Spider Man's <laughs> face, like, to no matter. And I love her for it because I do love those shirts. Um, but one year, my mom got me a shirt, and I open it, and it's blue stripes. Oh, you blue and white you, stripes. You said this. The I did. It. Oh my god. Yeah. And I'm like, Ma, Ma I'm not. She Puerto goes, Rican. it's Ca it's Captain America. I'm like, uh, uh, it's the Puerto Rican flag. Yeah. <laughs> and then oh, for me, I, my mom gave me a bad gift one year. Um, I think that she just wanted me to be able to open stuff. Mm. So she was like buying like whatever clothes, whatever. But she didn't know what to get. She bought me. This is maybe four years ago. Oh, so recent. Very recent. Okay. Four years ago, or maybe sooner than that. A lava lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I opened it, and I literally went, Ma, what? What are you doing with a lava lamp? This yeah. is a 1968. Yeah, what else are you going to get me? A snake and a chain wallet? The it's, fuck? It, it, I will say Miles is a lava lamp. Hysterical. He's he like the other night. He was like, "Mommy, I want to throw this thing out." Like even he knows as a five year old. It's like like enough. Is, it's a wrap for this. We're over. Yeah, I, just, I don't know how to receive gifts. Like I don't often feel embarrassment, like or like anxiety around people. But when it's like my birthday and people are like, "Open it, Op open it, open my gift." I don't like that. And I'm like, "Take it easy." Also, I feel super bad if I open a gift and like I don't apparently give the reaction they want well, and, what, and then and then they just follow it up with the receipt is that yeah. when you start talking to me about no. receipts yeah when you know oh. you, that's how you know the person knows they fucked up when yeah. they're like if you don't like it the receipt's in the bag and it's like yeah. all right no but i i've also never returned a gift or exchanged a gift that i've gotten oh me neither but i'm also one of those people that if i buy a shirt and it's too small or something i'm like oh i should have sized up with the way that the won't return it. It's there. It's I'll just have there. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll probably wear it to bed. Yeah. Or something. Or I'll just give it to like Keith. <laughs> like, but that's Keith it. is a petite boy. He's not really filled out He's like a you. Petite teen. He is a petite teen. <laughs> yeah. He's a petite teen. Yeah. Big, yeah. Big. Uh. Big. Uh. What was it? Sorry. This is. I forgot where this is coming from. But one time. Someone was talking to me about some porn thing. It just popped to my mind to petite teen, but it was big black poles and little white holes. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Yeah, that's what. It Do was. you remember when we were like teenagers? We thought it was the funniest thing in the world to watch uh, freaks of cock together. Yeah, we would be like, we'd be like, yo, did you? You gotta see it. We and so this is a little weird to talk about now, but we were like, how old were you? Did you say like ah uh, 13, 14? Yeah. So like 13, 14 in Frankie's alleyway. What's up? With a laptop out. How you doing? With a guy with a big fake, maybe three foot dick. If that was real, this guy wouldn't survive. Yeah. And like, also you can't get a blade. Yeah. You like, you would have to like eat it like a, like a gyro, like from like attack the sides first. Yeah. It would be very strange. Yeah. <laughs> gyro. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah and then also he would you know he would uh ejaculate tremendous amounts dude like n not it wasn't ejaculation at that point it was like a gallon of milk yeah yeah and so, do you remember what keith said no keith, we were watched like we were like watching hindsight we we're watching porn together 100 percent. and keith like at one point like just stayed quiet we were like yo there's no way this is real and keith just goes it's goat milk <laughs> <laughs> we we're like what you know, I'm telling you, it's goat milk. And we're like, okay. And he like stuck with it that it was goat milk. You know what? I think a part of me still believes that to this day. And I don't want to be corrected. Yeah, I just that's, it is because people like it was like milky white. Like it was like it was white. Real, real. 
is like a little like a little clear ish. It's not coming out like it's cloudy. It's not coming out like oh. I'm just gonna get a doctor on the line. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's cloudy. It's not like fucking like white like these walls. Not sometimes. Sometimes I sometimes it's you know it's like, I mean it's not like Snow White. It's well you know yeah. or not Snow White. Not snowy dwarfs. white. Snowy white. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like you know construction. Uh, what is that called? Computer paper. Computer paper. It's not like that, but it's like you know it's like uh, like a conditioner. It's like a con- no conditioner's pretty white, dude. I mean, it depends which one you got. I got a coconut one there. It looks exactly like cum. You got a lot of coconut stuff in your in I your love bathroom. Love coconut. You're a big coconut dude, boy. Dude, I rub mostly coconut on this body. That's weird. Uh, but don't like actual coconuts though. I love coconuts. Th- th- I guess we're flip flopping that. Um, did you have like when you were younger, or to like I guess in your like a- adult, semi adult years, did you have like a pre sex routine that you thought was like your like go to? Like a like so for instance, I like I remember hearing when I was like in like late years of high school and like early college that like oh red dye number four. Will make you last longer, and so will bananas. What the fuck is red dye number it's four? It's like in like Twizzlers and fucking Swedish fish and shit like that. Red dye number four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might have killed your sperm. But I remember like I would be like, all right, hold tight. I'll be right back. I'd run to the bathroom and just shove fucking Twizzlers. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I swear to God. You thought Twizzlers were going to make you last longer during sex. And they... They, they didn't. Might have. <laughs> Might have. That's what I'm saying. Is, I don't know. Red dye number four. Yeah, I yo. I you can't. thought you were putting a chemical in your body from a Twizzler. Listen to me right now. That was now. gonna make you jizz. I mean, I think there's like red dye in Twizzlers. It's like red dye in corn syrup. Basically. What is number four? I, it's the fourth important one, I guess. Red dye number four just sounds like a robot's name. It might have been, but I I would literally like stop like mid foreplay and be like, I'll be right back, and I'd run to the bathroom and sh- like. Like shovel like a pack of Twizzlers and bananas into my <laughs> bananas. Mouth. Yeah, dude, you probably took a big fat dump later on. <laughs> Possible. I mean, I don't, I don't know. This was back in the days when my bowel movements were semi regular. Yeah. Uh, but I remember like it was just a fucking. It was a holiday, dude. That's insane. You, I remember. I know the whole thing. It's like uh, pineapples make like your cum yeah, taste better yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 something like that. I don't know, man. I, I just feel like I mean, I don't smoke cigarettes. So I don't... But does that affect your... I would assume so. Do you remember when people would call it splooge? Or your spooge? I think it's splooge. Are you talking about cum? Yeah. Splooge? Like, oh, dude, you too, like totally fucking splooged everywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? No one ever said... You never heard someone say that? No one's ever said that to That's me. That's been said. I want you to splooge. Well, no, I'm not saying... I don't think anyone has said it to me, like inviting, you know... Inviting the splooge? Yeah. It was also someone just talking about... I know like in like in the UK, they call it spunk. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, let me tell you something. Oi, yes, I'm going spunk. <laughs> right on there. I'm like, what I'm gonna do is that morning I'm gonna rub a bunk and then I'm gonna come over and give you a spunk. <laughs> After we <laughs> After we shag. After we shag <laughs> I'm gonna wank it a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna shag after I rub this bunk. <laughs> I'm a wank I'm a wank it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a go in I'm a go in the loo. I'ma wank one out real quick. <laughs> And then I'm going to turn the telly on and introduce you to my spunk. <laughs> oh my god, he pass out. That's what he does. <laughs> Go to the loo. That's what he does. That's, what, that's Jason. Jason Stife. <sighs> and then what do they do in Australia? You ready for my spunk? <laughs> Australia like, good eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come in, yeah. You cunt. Uh, what do they call it down there? They got to call it cum something. Let's, let's look it up. Cum in Australia. I'm afraid of what's going to come up here. Do you think cum... What's it with the, <laughs> the the toilets? They flush a different way down yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Is there something with cum with that too? Does it like... I don't know. Reverse? I don't know. Uh, oh. <laughs> what? Uh, dude, I'm trying to look to see Australian what... slang for 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 yeah cum. Australian. I that's probably what I should have typed in. Sperm slang. Also, for you ever sperm. see you ever watch porn? And you hear a foreign person say like, "Oh, you gonna sperm on me?" And you're like, <laughs> "What?" 
What? Wait a sec. Uh, apparently, for Australia, the, I'm going to just say it in a sentence. Like, good eye. <laughs> I'm going to put it in ya, and I'm going to give you some of my sprog. Sprog. <laughs> <laughs> no, like frog, but... Sp- but sperm frog. S- sperm frog. Yeah, sperm frog. Damn. The buggers got free young sprogs at home. I guess that means it's grown sperm. Oh, kids. I guess. Oh. But it also says semen here. I don't know, man. Oh, or, or maybe it's spoof. Spoof. Yeah, that's what it says. The spoof. No, I don't know about that one. Oh man. Dude. Yeah, I guess that's how they're doing it down in Australia. Oh my god. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> I would love to know. You know what? That's what oh, we're gonna do. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna have a Patreon episode where we're just it's it's the semen, but we're gonna figure out. Like I'm not gonna have it. Yeah. I, you know? I'm like what? <laughs> like I'll give you the term, the slang term for it. And you gotta tell me where it's from. That would be fun. That would be good. We know spunk, and we know sprog, but I'll come up with other ones. <laughs> spunk, dude. Oh, but yeah, God. like I said, sometimes in pornos they say like they put it, they use it as like a verb, like spermed. I just spermed. What? And you're like, what the fuck? What is squirt? Like, what is squirt? Oh, when a woman squirts? Yeah, like, what is that? What fluid is that? It's pee. Is it, It's just pee. I, I think it's like... So that's not impressive. It's just, you're just peeing. No, well, it's horny pee. <laughs> what is that? Well, I think there's other stuff in there, but I think there's a fair share of like... What you know, makes it not pee and more horny pee? Like, is there like... That you're, a, you're horny. I could I could horny pee whenever. I can't. You can horny pee if you want, dude. When I'm like horny, <laughs> there there's a thing in your body that like holds back piss, and it's like mm-mm. it's just a traffic guard signal, just like there's a bouncer. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's literally like that. He's got a whistle out. He's holding traffic and comes just flying out. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, not flying out, but you know, I I mean. Spoofing out, yeah, it's <laughs> <sprogging. laughs> no, I, I, I think like there, like you could definitely like be horny. You can horny pee. Well, well, I'm well, no. When I'm horny, you can't. Do guys pee. squirt? Yeah, like not like sperm though. Like what at their butts? Maybe. I mean, I've never. That's gonna be. That's you know what? That's what's gonna be found. I've, I've seen a level a lot of, of horny. Stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff yeah. on the internet. I've never seen a dude squirt out of his butt though. Unless you like filled it with like stuff. an enema. Yeah, yeah. I've squirted out of my butt, not from sexiness, from medicine. From medicine. <laughs> <laughs> not from sexiness, but no, from medicine. Not from sexiness. Do you want to go into that, or was it? Was I mean, it, it was just. Did like, a man do it to you? I did it to myself. Oh wow! Yeah. A self, a solo, a solo. A, no, I was. Whoa, 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 whoa! I never said I was. You know. No, no, no. A solo, biking it. No, <laughs> it was a solo squad. Yeah, I, I was. It was medication that I had to take. It was an enema. How'd you put it in? I, I told you that. I told you. You were this. face down, ass up. I think there was a couple times where I was face down, ass up. But you were mostly just. There were other times where I would like lean to my left, and I had to like hold my like left knee up to my chest. And oh, they God. said, I, I've spoken about this before, but they said, like, you have to hold on to the medicine for at least, like, 30 minutes. Let me ask you a question, because I don't know what this says about me, but, yeah. like, when I'm, if I had to do something like that, I'm just going to, like, lay on my back and, like, go this way. Apparently, it's, like, your bot, like, the way that, like, your body's, like, digestional, digestive tract is, like, routed, you need to, like, give it, like, the most ability to, like, just, like, oh. just shoot in. When you were telling this story, like, on a past episode, I think you did mention that. I just yeah, it need, it's 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 all about, like, the route. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Um, but I remember the first time I did it, it was, like, I, like, laid down, like, towels for myself because I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. Light a candle. I didn't know. You put on Kenny G. Uh, yeah. I, I <laughs> Not Kenny G. Rihanna. Hey. Got me going. What the fuck is that? That was my Rihanna impression. Hey. That's it. That's a really good impression. Um, how did we even get here? I don't even know, but what we'll tell you to do right now is go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. We're over 5,700 patrons, uh, and if you sign up, you uh, get access to every single weekly episode a week in advance, and a weekly episode that is just exclusive to the patrons. No mm-hmm. one else gets to see it. It's true. We get a little... I mean, this is... We've been talking a little dirty today, but we get a pretty pretty hardcore on there. Oh, yeah. Like, we go full P. We go full P on there. <laughs> but, um, you know, we, we are going to be doing... So, f- full transparency, we said if we hit 5,000, we do the one-chip challenge. Not only is Joey mad at me for suggesting that, but 
Uh, there, there are no chips anywhere. Yeah, they're sold out. They're sold out everywhere. And I feel weird buying it from a reseller. Yeah. I don't know if they, like, sprogged on it. Yeah, so sprog. Um, <laughs> One chip. But we're going to get, like, sprog. a deadly hot sauce. We will do something hot that you guys will be able to watch on a Patreon episode. So go check it out. Patreon.com. You get access to every episode that has been on there. It's over, like, 300 or something, right? It's a lot. Yeah. Well, also, like, these extra episodes that we've been doing... There's at least like 10, 20. There's a lot on there. That's yeah. as long as I've been on the show, and yeah. that's been not long enough. I don't know how long, to be <laughs> honest with you. But yeah. there's a bunch of extra content there, you guys. So check go check it out. out. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Yeah. Bay semen yard. Do you know? Yeah, someone like posted a picture <laughs> and it just said semen. So I it's incredible. I posted on my story like a while ago. I was a kid. <laughs> I posted on my Instagram page, but he was wearing a basement yard hoodie. I put these like navy blue hoodies out that had these stitched. It said basement yard, but the way that the kid's jacket hung over, it just said semen, <laughs> and it was so fucking funny. That is incredible. Oh, it was that amazing. is so good. You might as well just start making semen shirts. Yeah. What's gonna happen? You ever see those shirts that's like it's stitched like that, but some of them are just like missing the stitching, but it's still outlined. I might just do that. Yeah, that would. Where it's like oh the my B-A god, and then the semen. That would be fucking hysterical. Nah. That would be funny. But Joey, there's a video I actually um, I saw on the internet that I wanted to show you. That. Uh, well, I showed you before, and I told you we were going to talk about it. But did you the video about the Santa Claus? Yeah. And he like so the video is for those of you guys that haven't seen it, you can go find it on the Google. Uh, it's this kid, and he's like, you know, going to talk to Santa, doing the whole social distance thing. He's like thing. seven. Yeah, he's like seven or eight. Too old to cry at request like level. You well, know what I mean? I don't know. You this was a little. This seven. was a little. So he asked Santa for a Nerf gun, and Santa's like, no, uh, uh-uh. uh. Yeah, he was like, chill. He and then the like, mom chirps in from the back. She goes, no, 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 a Nerf gun, because it's a child's toy. Yeah. And the, and Santa goes, still no. Yeah, your you, your you maybe your dad can get it for you, but I I uh, 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 no guns. Why would he say that, dude? Do you know how quick I would fuck this guy up? Why would you? What was even the purpose? Like, why would he say no to a Nerf gun? Because he was probably like a super fucking liberal, you know? That's like, oh, no guns. What a fucking nerd. What is wrong with you? It's a Nerf gun, you bitch, and it's a children, dude. It's a children. First of all, he's always yes. right. Second of all, this is the rule of Christmas. This is the rule of Santa. If a kid asks for it, you fucking give it to them. Yeah. If he wants a divorce, figure it out. Yeah. Santa. What, yeah. Hey, little boy. What do you want for Christmas this year? Um, Santa, I want, um, you know, a flashlight. Ooh, you got it. Yeah. The kid gets a flashlight. He gets one. And the, they'll figure it out. Like, it's not your job to teach him what a flashlight is. You're Santa. You just make it. Give them the fucking flashlight. Or you fleshlight. make your, your fucking slave elves make it. Dude, what would you do? If your 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 son or daughter, little Joey or Josephine, runs up to Santa, sits on his lap, I want a Nerf gun, and he says no. When we leave, I go, that wasn't Santa. That was the devil. <laughs> that was a dead man. <laughs> yeah, that was a that guy's dead. And I I pull him to the side. I honestly would pull him to the side. But listen, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah, and I, I would go off on him. Dude, I would. I like, honestly. What kind of ridiculous? Like, bro. You're not going to give him a Nerf gun. Yeah. That's one. You're a random dude who used to have a drinking problem, and now you're trying to now, you know, forgive your sins by being Santa <clears throat> in a mall. Is, this is my issue with any side, any extreme side of the political spectrum. Do you think that you're some fucking hero? By not getting a kid a Nerf gun? Do you think this guy, like this fucking loser probably left, and he was like, all right, I did something good today. And not only that, but like, what do you think? Nerf guns are fucking gateway drugs to AK-47s? I mean, we all had Nerf y- guns. Listen, yeah. If you're going to sit there and say, like, oh, all the, all the mass shooters in this country have played with Nerf guns, it's like, yeah, one, you're a fucking idiot. But then if you look at the percentage of people that play with Nerf guns, look at me. Look at me. I love Nerf guns. You've never seen me doing something fucking violently radical. Dude, I've shot... Nerf guns that were bow and arrows, and I love Legolas. Oh, and I've never shot a real bow and arrow. You were a big Legolas boy, big Legolas man. Yeah, and my was it because you liked the character, or you were a big Orlando Bloom boy? I mean, I liked Bloom. I was a Bloom boy, but I also just like bow and arrows. I think they're fucking cool. And like when we were younger, those things were weapons. Like now, they're like safe and like cute. 
But you they should be able to take out a fucking eye from across the room. Dude, and they had like fucking, like, they had like not even just like the little ones. They had like fucking rocket launchers and shit. I shot my yeah. grandmother in the face with one of those ones. Hell yeah, dude. It, Fuck grandma. It, she's dead now. Not unrelated. Yeah. Not, I didn't, he didn't kill, kill her. her. I didn't kill her. Yeah. But it didn't help. It definitely didn't help. It <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Just like, yeah. This guy probably walked away and was like, I I did something right. Oh, today. dude, you're such a fucking hero, you fucking loser. I like, you know, I'm a pretty laid back person for the most part. Like, I, it needs to be like intense for me to want to fuck, like, back up, <laughs> for me to want to punch someone in the face. If it came to like my children, like if that was Miles or my soon to be daughter, would be fucking heated. I would f I would legitimately say like, yo, I'm gonna find you, and I will like I'm gonna hurt you. You know what I would do? I'm going to teach my kid a lesson about fucking violence. <laughs> you want to save the day? Fine. We're going right to the Nerf store and buying all of the, the guns and, I'm and coming back and blasting bang. this place. Yo, I would have lit this piece of shit up. I would have brought his head home for fucking dinner and put it on the table. Oh, my God. It's just so weird. Like, just lie to kids. That's what kids are for. For lying. Oh. And for hitting. And, well. <laughs> <laughs> but for making them feel worthless. Yeah, dude, just, well, no, that's you. You like to demean I don't, children. Not worth, well. Degrade? Degrade, yeah, degrade, degrade. You I like definitely, to degrade children. I'm a, not in their face, but to me. No, no, no. Oh, to their face. Yeah. I mean, I've never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need to. It's, it's, it makes it even more fun. You will never be anything. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? You know, like, just like, do you realize how stupid you are right now? Oh, man, that's how I am, too, because I don't know how to talk to kids. Like, I like Keith's really good with kids. He's able to, like, yeah, he is. talk to them and, like, whatever, and I just can't. Like, I, I just, like, I forget. Not that I forget, but they're children. So I just go, oh, man, like, literally, you're not supposed to do that. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know how to I say. find myself going back and forth because when it, like, I, like when it comes to, like, playing with kids... I'm still a kid at heart. Like, I know how to do it. You know what I mean? I could be like, oh, no, the floor is lava. You know, like, I know I know how to do that stuff. Great game. Let's do it. Um, let's get on the show. <laughs> let's get on the show. Netflix, we're fucking. Oh, the floor is lava, that game. Let's get on the show. Let's go on the show. But, like, when it comes to, like, having to, like, reprimand, like, that's when I'm, like, I have to still figure it out. Like, I'm still working on it. I use too many big words. I get logical with these children. Yeah. I'm like, how, but literally, how do you not know that? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like, do you understand that what you're doing right now makes no sense? Unforgivable. And it's like, this kid is, like, looking at me, like, doughy-eyed, like, huh? Yeah. She's like, I, don't, I just want you to know, like, you're you're ruining everyone's day. Yeah. And, and life. Yeah. <laughs> Every, like, but there's there's an art to it. I'll get there one day. Yeah, but yeah, but like, dude, if you're this Santa dude, like, just lie to the kid. It's a Nerf gun. It's made for children. All right, you're not fucking saving the world. Shut up. This is someone that takes their job so fucking serious. And it's like, what? Listen, you're a fake Santa. I get it. You know, you're there to spread joy. Read the fucking room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you really think? If anything, this kid is now gonna grow up, buy a pistol, find you, and blow your goddamn brains all over that. <laughs> Throne. Like now you you're, you're creating a gun. You maniac. realize what you just did? Like you yeah. just created a like that kid in like 15 years is gonna see that and be like Let's Dude, go back to the mall. Mom. Kids love being rebellious. So the things that they can't do, that's why drinking a beer was such like oh when you're a young Fuck kid, because yeah. you're not supposed to. So if he's not supposed to have a nerf gun, guess what? Fruit of the poisonous tree, baby. Look at Adam and Eve. They couldn't say no to that damn snake. Yeah. Also, a talking snake. <laughs> yeah. I'm believing anything. Who would, yeah, who wouldn't say no to a also talking snake? Also, a quick snake. apple. Like, you know, you but know. that's the thing, too. Like, it's coming from Santa. Th you know what this, this Santa was probably be like? I am going to make sure that, like, I try. Like, people look up to Santa. Like, people look up to Santa because they think you're bringing them gifts. Not because they think that you're an idyllic person. Yeah, no one grows up like, I want to be just like Santa one day. Like, what? I don't even know you, bro. And like, if they I do. I know that you give me shit. And if they do, they should be in a mental hospital. Something of the sort. You know? But like St I, strapped to a bed. I was so angry watching this because I was like, you know, like this is the, like people are and Twitter and social media for the most part is normally so liberal, but you know that like conservative media is taking this and be like, look at what these these yeah. liberal cucks are doing. <laughs> What do you think I said? Well, no, Cox was funny. Yeah. I thought you said Cox at first. Well, but. maybe, but, like, that's the end of the spectrum that also sucks, too. Yeah. 
cut. Do we need to get to the friends of the show? We do. That's why I, I knew you were. You, Joey was doing the the good old. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get to the friends of the show today. Uh, first one we have here is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online counseling. Okay, they will set you up with an online counselor if you're looking to do therapy or something online. Um, they have four means of communication. You can talk over the phone. There's video chat, texting and something else that I'm not remembering at the moment, but you can start communicating in just under 48 hours. Switching therapists is also very easy. Um, they make it pretty seamless, so if this is something that you've wanted to do, I know that I'm in therapy right now, um, and it's great. I love it. It's been a joy, honestly. Um, but yes, with BetterHelp, you can uh, actually save 10% of your first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash yard. That is betterhelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash yard. You will get 10% off of your first month um, and they have, you know, licensed um, therapists that will help you through, you know, they, they specialize in like depression or anxiety or relationships or anything of the sort. Um, so yeah, go check it out if you're looking for that. BetterHelp.com slash yard. Um, next here we have Simply Safe. Uh, Simply Safe Home Security delivers award-winning 24/7 protection. Frankie over here might need some Simply Safe. Um, in in the future, uh, I know you're looking to. We're looking, uh, baby. He, he's looking for a house. And he's looking to make it safe because nothing's better than something that's safe and simple. Hence the name. Simply safe. Simply safe. Uh, Simply safe has an arsenal of sensors and cameras that protect every inch of your home. You can set up yourself in just about 30 minutes. Super easy. Um, and they simply safe's professionals take over monitoring your home 24 seven and ready to send help the moment there's an alarm. Um, plus with Simply Safe, there's no long-term contract, no hidden fees or installation costs. So that is great as well. So obviously you want to be protecting your stuff. Um, this holiday season, you're going to be buying a bunch of stuff. You want to keep it protected. Might as well buy someone a home security system. They're going to love it. That's going right? to be nice. Uh, so right now our listeners can get a free home security camera when you purchase a Simply Safe system at simplysafe.com slash basement, uh, spelled S I M P L I S A F E.com slash basement. You also get a 60 day risk free trial. So there's nothing to lose. Visit simplysafe.com slash basement for your free security camera today. That is simplysafe.com slash basement. A boom. Uh, and lastly here we have honey. Honey is a free online browser extension. It's free. Like I just said, and it saves you money. There's no reason for you to not have this, especially when you're doing all this online shopping for the holiday season, it will automatically find coupons or discount rates on the internet and apply them directly to your cart so that you are paying the lowest amount possible for whatever you're shopping for. Um, but yeah, so I have it attached to my browser and I forget it's even there sometimes and then it'll pop up be like, oh, you could save an extra 20 bucks on this, like boom. Uh, so it's great. Um, it it uh, downloads in just a few seconds and um, yeah, like I said, you'll be doing us a solid as the podcast, do you know, using it by going to joinhoney.com slash basement to download it for free, like I said, and it saves you money. They support over 30,000 online stores, all right? So they have sites that, you know, you can save on tech, gaming products, um, to popular fashion brands or even food delivery. So go check out Honey. Uh, joinhoney.com slash basement to get that for the free ones, mm -hmm. all right? What happened? You're Nothing. worried? Nothing to be worried about, big boy. Not when you're with me. Ew, the, your voice just now was like creepy as fuck. <clears throat> was it? Yeah. I what, didn't like that. Yo, if you, like, do you think you'd be able, like, to make money as a phone sex operator? No, dude, my voice sucks. No, it doesn't. It doesn't suck, but it's not sexy. Try to be, like, give me, like, something sexy real, like, right now. I don't even know how. He's gotta, he's gotta be here. I gotta, like. No, see, that sucks. Michael, Michael Scott's. Dunder Mifflin. No, 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 no. Be sexier. Be like, get into it. Dunder Mifflin. Oh, yeah. Scranton Meredith <laughs> Palmer Memorial Celebrity. Do they own What is that? Rabies? Awareness Pro Am? Yeah. Yeah, the fun run. Yeah. For the cure. Do they have, um, like, phone sex hotlines, like, elsewhere or just the U.S.? I'm sure they have them, like. Oh, my God. Oi! Listen up! You won't get shagging, yeah? <laughs> How does that sexy to anyone? They love it out there, man. I guess they do. Yo, there was this one time where... Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? 
so like I know you don't relate because you're not a porn guy um, and I don't I haven't done this in a very long time but there were times growing up where you would find a video and you'd be like this is old faithful I'm gonna go back to this oh times. yeah so there was one that I used to go back to all the time and the woman wasn't even hot but she had an accent mm. and it was like that mm. Like it was like, oh yeah. Like oh. it was like, it was so bad. <laughs> like super cockney British? Yeah. Like, oi, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Yeah, I don't know why, but it just like did it for me in that moment. I was like, I don't think I've ever like hooked up with someone that had like a heavy accent in any me regard. Me neither. Me neither. I mean, how many are you going to meet? You know? I mean, you never here. know. People, you know, travel in the world. No, I know, but like it's unlikely that you'll like meet one and then hook up with one. Like, yeah, I guess so. No, like. I, I remember, I mean, the classic story is Barry Sanders' ESPN Classics on my home computer when I was yeah, a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, in hindsight, it was only on my account. No one else could see it. Right. You know? But uh, I remember there was a joke one that I remember showing to, like, friends when we were younger. And it was, I don't, I don't remember the website. A joke porn? But it was a joke porn. But it was a porn. But it started and ended jokey. And the girl was like sitting there and she was like, she started like playing a guitar at the beginning. She's like, um, ding, ding, like just like playing the acoustic guitar. And she then, was good? She, like it was fine. And then at the end, she played the acoustic guitar after she's been covered in spunk. <laughs> she's like, uh, we just fucked and you just come in my mouth. Like I was like, oh my God, like this is hilarious. What the fuck? Everything in between. Not so funny. Yeah, it was... It was yeah. more serious. Well, yeah, I'm assuming. <laughs> it got serious. But it was also... Remember back in the day before there were, like, these massive, like, porn databases? Yeah. It was like you had to go to the website and watch the 30-minute, like, preview clip. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or um, yo, when you said joke porn, it reminded me of this video. That, like, everyone's definitely seen this video. Like, I feel like it was viral. But it was a guy, and he was just standing there. Mm -hmm. And it was a girl like on her knees Like about to like eat this guy's ass And she like goes like this And she goes And the guy farts Oh no And she got tight she I would be pissed Punched him right in the asshole <laughs> For real She punched him in the asshole Well I mean she didn't get in She just you know hit, You know hit the whole You know what I'm saying No You know when you like break down a castle door You gotta hit it a few times Gotcha So she only hit it once Yeah she, so was... she didn't make any you know Way there That's gotta be Have you ever bruised your ass Like whole My coccyx Your coccyx Um yeah 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 I've, I've fell in on this thing Dude it's like The worst pain imaginable Dude I fell on this thing one time I I couldn't sit Yeah or, like even really bend At the waist I remember like coughing hurt When I bruised my yeah. coccyx Your coccyx yeah, that shit sucks. Why is that thing like called a coccyx? Uh, isn't it like your t so your tailbone's like part of your spine? So maybe the spine is the cock of your back. It's gotta be. It's the longest, best, hardest thing. That's the only thing that I can even think of of why they would name it a coccyx. Yeah, I would imagine. I can't see anything else. Any other reason? I got it. When you like, so your cock is just your cock, mm -hmm. and then your coccyx is like your cock. Six, like watch your six. Yeah, watch your, your back, back. Your back cock. It's your back cock. That's oh my god, you know that was saying? genius. Figured it out. You I'm know, like, yo, I'm really good at context. That was really good. That was really really good. I'm proud of you on that. Thank one. you so much. What did you get on the SATs again? Uh, like 1400. Yeah, not high. Um, oh, when, that was out of 21, by the way. Yeah, not out of 16. <laughs> <laughs> when you like, you know how like you, you do one of those. If you punch an asshole at the right suction, does it make that sound like out of your mouth or like out of your butt? Well, I mean, no. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but but have to. Do you know that actually? You know, a scary thing is that you can get stuck in a in a pussy. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you can. Like I, I, I read a story about. This I mean, I, I know people that have been stuck in it before. You no, know what I'm saying. I'm they can't get away. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm talking about you get stuck in one. Like, I heard about this story about this Italian couple. They were having sex in the ocean. And then, like, you know, the... Yeah, yeah. Which, dude, don't do that. I'm talking about UTIs. Yeah. We're talking about permanent damage here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but oh, no. That, it wasn't Mario and Luigi. Uh, it might have been. It might have been. Oh, no. <laughs> no, but yeah. So, anyway, Fabrizio was having sex yeah, with, yeah, uh, yeah. with Ma the, Mariana. Ma Mariana Angelina. <laughs> and, yeah, you know, Italian girls love having two names. Very big. And the INA, they love it. Oh Mariana, Angelina, Dunyarina. Yeah, and you're like, it sounds like a delicious meal. Yeah. Like, you gotta put, like, 
Parmesan cheese on this name. A hundred percent. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure most Italian meals are also female names. Yes. Yeah. Pastina. Yes. A mozzarella. Fettuccine. Yeah. Come downstairs. <laughs> oh my goodness! Chicken parmigiana. Yeah. Parmigiana is a great name. Getting a phone call from an 800 number. They can suck it. If it's not Italian. Um, but no, this Italian couple, you know, uh, Gennaro, was having sex with his girlfriend. Um, and they were in the ocean. And, like, I guess the suction mixed with <laughs> the salt water of the Mediterranean. Isn't the Mediterranean over there? Uh, yeah. And then, like, whatever, like, they were stuck. Like, they were legitimately stuck. They couldn't get out. Suction? What? This isn't the fucking Atlantic floor after the fucking Titanic went down. Like, you should be able to pull out. Well, I, I, well he couldn't. And they were stuck. They were stuck on a fuck in the, in the ocean. Is it, is, it like, <laughs> is it like a garbage can where you needed to, like, drill holes in it to, get like, release the suction? So he had to, like, know. poker in the belly button and just, like... <gasps> I think he had to get... A- <laughs> I think you had to get like a, a turkey baster and just blow air in there and like kind of. I mean, I that's made, a thing. I made that up. That's a thing. Like apparently, when women are, are giving birth, they like throw like a balloon in there and they're like, <laughs> and, they and it like opens them up. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking wild. But I can see that happening. Dude, women, what they put in their vaginas is just beyond me. Sometimes, well, like, they, I mean, what they take out of it is sometimes more impressive. Well, that one's insane too. But I'm saying like, you know, they go to the OBGYN just just a checkup, like a checkup for us. Like an old guy grabs your balls, you cough. And you go home Yeah But with them They have to stick Like this contraption in you And they like open you up And they're like You know There's a lot of metal Yeah When you have to crank something To put into my body Maybe don't put it in there Yeah I don't know If I can handle a crank Dude these Fucking women They like sit In this contraption That's basically a saw trap And they They just get a fucking like Transformer Shoved into their Hey yeah Yeah And then they fucking like they like crank it and it like fucking opens them up. It's like, let me get a look in there. Yeah, you can feel like a halo sword in there. That that thing, yeah, an energy sword will go in there. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's. It, do, do you ever think about. But imagine th- getting stuck in a fuck. What would you do? Like, that's some suction on those big, big boys. Well, like, I, I, that's the thing. Like, And that's why, you know, I'm afraid to have sex in water. That's why. No, it really is why. That's really why? That's what, I mean, it's part of the reason. But also, like, it's. I've jerked off in water. And it's not submerged cold. in water. Yeah, like yeah. You never like jerked off in like a tub when you're younger. But I, I've never been in a tub. I'm a big. Bo- I'm a bigger guy. Yeah, but like your dick's submerged. How shallow are the tubs you're in? <laughs> but they're not. They're how deep are the ones that you're in? I, I can lay down in the tub. My my dick is. See, I'm I'm a dense person. So when I get into bodies of the water, the water rises. But my dick and balls are always out. And balls? So, Frankie. M- m- mostly dick. But, like, so what are you, just not wet? I'm just, like, there. I Does the water to, like, come above your knees? I have to, no joke, I have to, when I lay down, I have to, like, hump the air to get the water to, like, establish a wave so it gets over me. You have not been in a deep tub. I haven't. That's the point of this. Is So I've never jerked off when been submerged. You've never been, like, a weird kid and, like, try to, like, slam it in a pool or something? No. That, ugh. That would be disgusting. I've never, I've never jerked off in a pool, but I have jerked off in a tub, I have, which is it, probably worse. I have in the, the where they say is the worst place that you can engage in a sexual activity. I have church, a hot tub. Oh yeah, that yeah. church is pretty bad too. You were there. Do you remember that? It what in church? Nope. Oh wait, you jerked off in a hot tub? No, I never cranked it in a you hot fucked tub. Fucked a hot tub. No, I mean, oh god, <laughs> so what is going on? <laughs> oh, you had sex in a hot tub. I have engaged in an in intercourse mm-hmm. in a hot tub. Oh, I do. Yeah, I do know what you're talking about. We're going to stop there. Tub to break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I do remember that. But, like, that's not good because you could create... Uh, I didn't know this. Like, a lot of yeast and, like, probably, like, baked bread in there. It honestly. was basically, yeah, it was, like, a little fucking, like, chemical reaction in there. The heat was coming from the chemical reaction. You can't mix sperm and heat. And also, that's a lot of bacteria, too. That's what I'm saying. Like, it was basically... I was having sex in a septic tank, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You stuck your dick into the exhaust pipe of an RV. Basically, yeah. It was it was like Leechfield, well, Leechfield me, and I was in it. Leechfield? That's what it's called on a septic tank, Joey. Broaden your horizons. Understand how life works. I'm sorry, I don't know what a Leechfield is. It's all right. You'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did see something that I, I also wanted to talk about today, Joey. Uh, and I pulled up some quotes. Um, oh, I got a voicemail. 
and my friend just sent me a picture of a gun saying, got it. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, he heard us talking about the Nerf gun. I guess so. We're going to go so. kill that Santa Claus. I guess so. It's a, a Is des- it a real gun? Yeah, he bought a Desert Eagle. Hey, man, who are your friends? Uh, he's he's a bodybuilder, so he has to make up for his small penis. Gotcha. Joe, if you're listening, you probably have a small Oh, I penis. know who this is. Yeah, my buddy Joe. He's awesome. Maybe has a small penis. Fat gun, though. Pretty, pretty much... Confirmed, confirmed small penis. <laughs> Fat gun, though. Um, so uh, there was this uh, ex-Israeli. Oh, like, yes. This, uh, he, was, like, he worked for like the Israeli and U.S. Like, defense team or like intelligence team. His name is Haim Ashed. I didn't say that out loud Did until you say right Haim? now. Haim? How do you spell name, it? H-A-I-M. Last name, Ashed. Hi, I'm Ashed. Yeah. Um, he's a human he's a human <laughs> but also a shit I guess <laughs> um, yes we make fun of people's names here get over it yeah uh, he's saying wait real quick someone I forgot who I was talking to the other day they were like oh one of my kids oh someone what is going on with me <laughs> someone I know who's a teacher one of his kids names is Francisco nice and he and he was like isn't that crazy I'm like, that's Frankie's name. Yeah. It's Francisco. He yeah. Thought it was a wild name. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Why? What? That's very stupid. I actually thought that was a common name. Um, uh, but uh, the guy, Haim Ashed, uh, he uh, worked for like the US government intelligence and like the Israeli intelligence. And he said that, hey guys, there's a galactic federation of aliens that have made contact with us. Fire. And basically, they have asked us not to announce that they're here because humanity's not ready yet. Pretty accurate. Oh, I'm not ready for that. What, like, what's the quote? It's like, either we're alone in this universe or we're not. Both are equally terrifying. I don't know. Like, that might be one of those things. Like, people are having, like, legit existential crises will, like, hear that and, like, fucking lose their mind. I'm cool with not knowing anything more than I know right now. Like, yeah. I'm having a good time. I don't need to know how big or small the world yeah, is. Yeah, there are certain things that, like... Ignorance is fucking bliss. Bliss. Let me tell you, because I don't, I don't need to know all that. I don't need to know that either. You know, like if they're out there, or like apparently, according to him, they're living among us, conducting experiments, and they'll like they want the to be known once like everyone just like chills out. Trump uh, allegedly uh, negotiates with senior members of the alien race during calls to world leaders such as King Kim Jong Un. I want, I want. Let's real, talk. Let's talk about that. Real quick, I want to say yeah. this. No, he doesn't. Yeah, like this is fake. <laughs> if you think I'm gonna believe this, I'm insulted. Well, I mean, it would make sense as to why he he loves calling good old Kimmy. Him and Kim are like just like on the phone like all the time. Like, what's up? Yeah, but like, no. Also, come on. Political views aside, can we at least agree that he's not well spoken? Sending him as the representative. Big time mistake. You're out there. You're out there. I know you're out there and you have such nice spaceships. Mine is nicest. Not- we have the nicest <laughs> ones. Well, him and then maybe you send Joe Biden in there. That's must see TV. Oh my God. Joe Biden wouldn't know what the hell. Joe Biden on. has no clue how Did to you talk. Just say one name. <laughs> yeah. Joe Biden? Joe Biden. <laughs> he would like. Joe that's, Biden! Let's also be clear. Another awful example of someone to send to Joe <laughs> Biden. I can't speak. Guys, don't know what's going on. Yeah. Like, well, he also has, like, a stutter. But what I'm saying is, like, we're... Hey, ah, it's a conspiracy. Alleged hey, stutter, yeah, you know? Yeah, aliens, we're, we're not all, like, fucking 85-year-old white men. Yeah. You know? Like, that's the other thing. But... <laughs> Can you imagine us talking to aliens? They're like, yeah, we've been living amongst you. And I'm just like, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah? You know, like, it's like that common thing. Like, anytime a girl says, like, she's a sports fan, the guy's like, oh, yeah? Tell me about, you know, number 28 on the Falcons, you know? <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, you've been living amongst us? Who won the Super Bowl six years ago, geek? Yeah. You know, I will tell you, if there are aliens living among us, I know exactly who one of them is. If they're playing in professional sports, that's not fair. Yeah. You can't. Dude. Imagine it comes out as like Tom Brady's been an alien this whole time. I'd be like, bro, it's not fair. We got to take away all the championships. The Patriots, they knew. They knew. We don't care that there's aliens. We just care that the Patriots Yeah, are. we just like, just take all that rings away. <laughs> you know, Boston people would love aliens so hard. Um... Trump was on the verge of revealing that aliens exist, uh, but the aliens in the Galactic Federation were saying, wait, whoa, whoa, let people calm down first. <laughs> I, this is, like, insulting to me to hear. 
So we, we can at least agree on the fact that... I, I think aliens are real. Do I think that this man is the whistleblower of a galactic federation? Like this is Star Trek? That would be... I mean... I would love a federation that is galactic. I'll say that. To be on like a board, you stand on a podium and there's just a bunch of chairs with a bunch of different aliens and shit. Let's, let's also say this. The term galactic, awesome. The term federation, also awesome. Yeah. Both of those things... You know what I mean? Like, let me just... Like, Vince McMahon should be on the board here. Yeah. Like, let's... Like, World what of Wrestling we, Federation? Look, Stone Cold, I mean. Not Vince McMahon. Yeah. Basement Yard is a cool show, I guess. I mean, like, name for a show. But, imagine if it was called, like, the Basement Federation. Yeah, you'd be like, yo, these, Fuck. Guys, these guys are making money. Dude, that, that would be fucking <laughs> the Galactic Basement Federation. You know how ballsy that would be? Yeah, dude, that sounds like an underground bunker where only rich people can go when the world ends. But also... Well, they, they don't want to start mass hysteria. They want to make us sane and understanding. That's compassionate of them. That's never going to happen. No, it's not. As soon as they go, yo, aliens, sup. Like, we can disappear, reappear. We got ships. People are going to lose it. They're it, Apparently, they're, like, waiting for a stage of humanity to get to a point where it's, like, we're, like, super accepting. Uh-oh. Might not be there for a long time. No, nah, dude. But not only that, but it's, like, we're pretty accept like. Comparative to like the compared to like the seventies. Oh, compared to like the seventies. Yeah, we're but, super accepting compared to that. Like, where do we have to go? Where it's like, I think we there's zero racist people on the planet. It's never gonna happen. I'm not talking about people in like certain people in particular, but I I think it's like it is apparent that it's not about like you know like oh I don't want the Spanish, I don't want the blacks. It's like I think just as a as a human race, the concept of a larger power. Like that, could, like is just here, and like we never knew about it. Like we're not top of the food chain anymore. Yeah, like that would fuck people up. They would not be cool with that. They would be like, we need to know if they're a threat and kill them first. Yeah, but also, I mean, then again, we keep building robots, and we know where that's going. Yeah, those are gonna bend us over and fuck us one day. The the only part of this that I like was like more likely than not is like apparently there's a secret base on Mars. Like, underneath the surface that, like, they, like, go and, like, fucking rage in. Would we really need to put that under the surface? I can't see that. I don't know. What, we <laughs> are, can't we see are that. so advanced, and we have, like, six grainy, like, fucking, like, what are those pictures that you need to, like, fucking, like, dry off? Polaroids? Like, there's Polaroids of the Mars surface. Like, you could be hiding behind the camera, and we would have no fucking clue. Dude, I haven't even, like, looked in the moon's direction in, like, a full year. <laughs> like I don't even care Dude I live with someone who is a big moon girl I hate when people are like Do you see the moon? I guess <laughs> Guess if I can see it Dude there have yeah. been times where we've been driving in the car And Becca will go <gasps> And I'm like oh, oh, oh. And she's like the moon And I'm like dude all the way fuck this moon She's like you're not a witch she also and you're not the ocean, dude. It also drives me nuts. Where Becca will be like, she'll be like, "You're in a mood today. You're in a mood today." And I'm like, "No, I'm not. I'm perfectly fine. I'm just like, I'm I'm working. I'm busy or something." And she'll go, "Ah, that's right." I'm like, "What?" She goes, "No." I'm like, "No, fucking tell me now." She's like, "It's it's just a full moon," and I'm like, "What?" She's like, listen. She she believes that my mood is changed by, the, and I know there are gonna be people in the comments like, actually, it's been proven that the moon. D dictate your f mood. And I'll also say this. No. <laughs> no, it hasn't. We're not fucking lichens. We're not werewolves over here. Like, What the fuck is a lichen? A lion <clears throat> viking? No, it's a werewolf uh, term. Like, we're not dictated by that stuff. We're not the fucking ocean. You're yeah. like, well, if it can move the ocean, you think it can't move you? Oh, dude, I can move the ocean. Yeah. It's like, no, because I have fucking thought. The ocean can't think for itself. That it's stupid true. body of piss. It is piss. It's piss animal piss. It's pee-pee. Yeah. But I thought that was really fucking you interesting. You ever shit in the ocean? Nope. We yeah. talked about this with uh, with Kate and Pat. Oh. We talked about this last oh, night. Oh, yeah. No one shit. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was just making sure. I would I never know. do that because, uh, one. Well, shitting is not Disgusting. Shit. Two, like, again, most of the time there's probably blood in my stool. I'm inviting, like, a great white to come fucking eat me up. Yeah. And also, <laughs> God, that. <laughs> <laughs> if you shit in the ocean. The way the ocean works is that's going to land on the shore. No, it might get eaten by fish. Fish eat anything. I know. You could shit in the, and the fish would be like, mm. 
You know how much time I've wasted spitting into the water That's and what watching I'm saying. fish eat it? Those stupid little idiots eat my spit. They'll they'll probably drink my piss. They're cool with that. Big piss drinkers. They would definitely eat my shit. I've never like been submerged in a body of water and like used a poop. Used like you like let it go. Oh oh, oh yeah no. I mean I feel like that would be weird. Nah. You got to jerk off in water though. No, I don't. You do. I don't. Where does it go? It just kind of so floats. Literally, it just floats. Listen to this, right? When I was younger, uh-huh. I was in my bath. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I was I was like, I'm going to jerk off in this bath. Of course. Because that's what kids do. They that's try out every setting to jerk off in. So I'm like, underwater. Cool. Uh, not as cool because it's like you can't really move as fast. And it's not like, you know what I'm saying? So it, it takes a while. But I was determined. And when you erupt, it kind of just looks like when you blow out a candle. And it's like. Ew. Smoky. Yeah. It's disgusting. And then uh, it's just in the water with you. Well, it's not. You could have cream pied yourself, Joe. You don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know. That could have swam right up into your... <sighs> I'm sure... <laughs> I'm assuming... Because, you know, when you when you ejaculate, it's like... What is it? Like billions of like sperm or something yeah, like that? It's gotta be. Um, one of them had to have, you know, swam. Somewhere. You almost impregnated yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, could you imagine... I no, that's what. But like you, you did. I would never. No, like there's I, nothing that sounds quickly. I was like, I regret this. What did you use for like lubrication? Just your pruny fucking hand. The water, yeah. Ugh. The water, the water. That's why. Let's make sure we also get this out of the way. People are always like, oh, shower sex, disgusting, whack, awful. I need the oil, not the oils, the uh, lubricant, the natural lubricant, the natural lubricant, and they're not there when it's the water. You just get the water, and the water's not cool. It's not. And then like you're basically like you think about it. If you're with a, a boy or a girl, every time you pull out, there's water in there, and you're just jam packing water. Water. This yeah. is a fucking. This is ready to blow. This yeah, thing. Yeah. This is. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. It turns into like a fucking whale's blowhole. Dude, there was one time. <laughs> there was one time uh, I was in a shower with a woman. I am gonna love this. And the heat was so hot. Of the moment or the water? The fu- like the water. The everything combined yeah. was so hot. She she almost passed out. Cool. So I like, she's like, I need to, and she like sat down and in my head, I'm like, oh my God, I need to get this woman help. Because if this woman had passed out in the shower naked with me. With a boner. With a, with a bone. And you were boned. I would have been like. It's a tough position. Until she had come to, I would have had to explain a whole lot of what was going on. A whole bunch. Yeah. Do you do that where like, you have to like. Something happens and you think of how bad it can get and you like try to finagle your way out of it using words. You know what I mean? Like in that situation, I like, I didn't just think like, wow, that could have been bad. I'm like, oh my God, this could have happened. Then I would have said this and then this would have happened. I would have been arrested. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) I do that too. Yeah. You know, you go through every sort of, but yeah, I've never had a a woman pass out in the shower while that was. Given it, given it. Was yes, was uh, you know, giving a present of penis. <laughs> what a weird way to say that. <laughs> that sounds awful. How are we doing? Good. No, no, yeah, it's never happened to me, so I don't know. But <sighs> it's a scary thing to to kind of go through that. I can imagine that would be fucking terrifying. Heat of the moment. Heat of the. Wait, you had a bench in your shower? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was in college at the time. Is it you who likes to sit in the shower? Sit and lay down, baby, all the time. It's, oh, yeah, and you put your feet up. I, I forget. Pro- You're a weird fuck. Sometimes. Hey, man, it's, it's, it's supposed to be a sensual time. Let me ask you a question. Ask me. You know how, like... <laughs> you know how, like... <laughs> what was uh, that? <laughs> you know how, um, like, women are like, oh, I get a shower head, and I just, like, spray this thing on my seat. Dude, they go to town on their pee-peeps. Yeah, that's crazy. So they, like, spray their penises... And it makes them wet. Girl penises. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Oh, a girl's penis? A girl penis. Yeah, you know, their vaginas are their penis. Yeah. Um, so, like, you know how they spray their penis? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, it's, like, cool for them? Yeah. Have you ever taken a shower head and be like, I'm spraying my penis? I mean, I've sprayed my penis with a shower head. No, but, like, with the purpose of, like, I'm going to try and no, enjoy this. No, it's just water... Like I, that's not that's the only other thing I never. But understood. you've never like as an idiot kid being like, if it's cool for them, it has to be cool for me. No, no. It me. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? 
No. Just just water, just right? Just water. I've never it actually kinda hurt. I was gonna say I've never had a strong enough stream off of like a wand that like I can like like it would do anything. Like that's why the thing with like women using that on themselves, it never made sense to me because I was like, that's some strong water pressure. Yeah, it must be like yeah. And also like, is it safe to force that much water up there? I don't I don't think it's the the up as much as it's the at. Like, no, I know, but still, some of it's going. You know, up. it's not up at all. I mean, I'm not saying they're filling up their fucking <laughs> birth canal. Like, Can you imagine? Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be kind of. I'm cool. I'm sure a, a woman out there has done that. Oh, of course. You know what I mean? Also, the, there's a bunch of women out there. I, I'd be willing, not willing. I'd be interested in knowing the percentages of how many women put a vegetable in their shit. That's a different story, dude. Though. I'm would, gonna say it's like like 37 percent though. I would say a little higher than that. I would say 42. You think everyone's like slammed a? a, a I was gonna say a mushroom, but I mean, cucumber? think about it. No one's gonna worry why you have a cucumber in your fridge. You know what I mean? Like no one's gonna be like, that's a weird thing. You know, like people are more afraid of finding fucking dildos in the ar- zucchinis. I really want to. It's tough because I know a lot of people are worried about us judging you, but we do, we're not gonna judge you. But we really do want you to send us messages on Instagram. No, 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 not me. Wait, what are the messages going to say? I just want to know what's the weirdest thing they've... Yeah, send those all to Joey. Don't no, send to them the, to No, to me. the basement yard Instagram. Oh, okay, basement Oh, we don't yard, have yeah. to see it. You could just say it. I don't want to see anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. Just be like, yo, one time it was an action figure. I was just kind of like, whoop de doo all I, I mean? all I would need is my wife peering over me and like seeing someone wrote like, yeah, I shoved four carrots in me. And I was like, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You know, she doesn't like watch what I'm, but like at my luck, so she like, would fucking glance over and that's what she would see. Let's even it out then so it's not weird. So, like for women, it's like, what's the weirdest thing you've kind of like done to, you know, you've allowed to fuck you? Yes. And then for the dudes, what's the weirdest sort of lubrication you've used? I'm trying to lubrication that I've used. Like I've used shampoo, conditioner, anything you could find in a soap. Y- which yeah. Is, all those are dangerous. Very, very. You get that on your whole bed, bed, bed. Yeah, you got it. You got you. Michael Jackson bad. It's bad. Michael Jackson bad. Another bad. Well, not that bad. Oh, okay. Different. Bad. Uh, I would say. I would say it would be more. I'd be more interested to know like what guys have had sex with. You know what I mean? Oh, if they like, like slammed a like. A there are people animal. that are out here like fucking like microwave cantaloupe and stuff like that. You know, like what? Are oh they... yeah, or like pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah, time yeah. I fingered a pumpkin pie. Ooh, it was very Did you really? Nice. It was very nice. For being sexy. No, well, like. As a joke, we were filming a video for Santa Claus Studios, and I had a pumpkin pie. Oh, I might have, I might have seen that. And one. And I fingered it, and it was super nice. Really? Yeah. And I was like, if this was like, this is cool. I will say, I'm, I'm anytime I'm like in a store and I see like the cans of like cherry pie filling, I'm like, that could be fucked. I'd slam that. Yeah, that could definitely get, that could catch a thrust or two, you know. Well, what? <laughs> what's like something that you think that would be like, yeah, that'd be cool to have sex with? Yeah. Like Jello, um, I mean Jello, maybe it would break apart too much. Rice pudding. Now we're. I talking. love rice pudding Dude, with cinnamon. What? Well, not not if, if I'm eating it. Uh, yeah, but not if I'm eating <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, but just like just just in there, yeah. you know, because like you get like the consistency of the the rice in there. Yeah, so it adds a little bit of. It like, would like mold around you. That would be cool. Yeah, I, well, but no, I don't know. And then there are people out there that are like. You know, fucking like grapefruit, like that would be scary. That's a lot of acidity. Oh, there was a woman who was like teaching me how to suck dick yeah. with a, a grapefruit. Yeah, with like a, that's man weird, dude. Yeah, I don't. I, also, grapefruit's like bitter, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, it, maybe sprinkle a little sugar on there. You know, I know, but I feel like if you're putting that around my penis, then like, you're not gonna be enjoying it. I'll tell you that. You ever cut your dick? Uh, shaving. Yeah. 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 I've done that. I used to shave. My dick mm-hmm. every time I was about to have sex. Yeah. More than five times I've cut myself while shaving. I was like, well, that's over with. Yeah. I'm not going to have sex now. Yeah. It, no, I, I, I've done that a couple times. It is I am under the assumption that everyone has an STD and or AIDS. Jesus. Yeah. That's... Well, that's how I live my life. Oh, kind of okay. Like, well, I guess that makes sense. Well, like, I mean, that's why I was like, yo, condoms, if I have a cut, I'm not doing it. Like... You yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But were if you I a cut, big like my balls? Were I'd you like, a big right. like jerker offer into condoms? Nah, just like once or thrice. Oh, like in your whole life? Yeah, yeah. Oh, when I was younger, that was that. Oh, was... you would. You were slamming it. Well, you had them laying around. You know, expiration dates coming up. You know, you don't want to keep them in your wallet too long. Oh, I did. And it was like you know, you just slam it, just slam into it. It's easy cleanup. Like you don't need to do much. 
I've only done it like like three times, I think, in my life. Really? Yeah, because I was just like, it just felt weird. Also, just like jerking off like without a condom was kind of dope too. I mean, it was way dope. It did the same. It, it all did the same thing. It, it wasn't easier to clean up, but also made my dick smell like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> you said there's smell in your dick? No, but I can smell the smell. Smell? You waft? You waft the scent yeah, up to like your nose? Yeah, like when you use condoms. You could smell that balloon yeah. smell. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize condom sex just sounds, it just smells like a fucking Chuck E. Cheese. You it know? does. It smells just like, like, is someone making a, a hot giraffe pizza, in the corner? A hot pizza and a ball pit. Like, just a lot of elastic. Yeah, it well, does smell like that. And latex. What'd I say? Oh, you said plastic. I said pl- elastic. Yeah. When was the last time you were in a ball pit? Those things are fun. Not, I'll tell you, too long ago. I went to my friend's house, Demir. Remember Demir? Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, From yeah. Fifth yeah. grade. In fifth grade, went to Demir's house, and his mom brought us to McDonald's, and we played in the ball pit at McDonald's for three hours. Dude, ball pits used to. I know that they're fucking cesspools and they're disgusting. Oh, got a fever. Yeah. <laughs> so, definitely got a fever. They're like adult. There's like by me in Tom's River. There's like an adult playground, and it's like cool ball pits. Have you been to, like, a trampoline park? No. Dude. They're fun, right? Dude, I jumped into that giant-ass fucking, like, vat of foam. Fucking awesome. I almost also almost broke my fucking leg doing that shit. But it's a lot of fun. We needed it. I was talking about this business idea. I know you're an entrepreneur, and you're willing to throw money at things because you have too much. You know how people have, like, paintball places and, like, laser tag places? Yeah. Get a snow machine and do a snowball fight place. It's actually tight. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, dude. Call Josh. Call Josh. Get the lawyers on the phone. <laughs> and we now. We need a patent pending now. It's copyrighted. It's copyrighted. It'd be called Snow Fight. We'll work on the name. We'll work on the name. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, how fucking awesome would that be? Like, that in the middle would, of I July. Mean, there's so much you could do, too. It could be like, you can make it like a. Like a. Like sledding, yeah. Also, you know what I mean. Like you could have snowball fights. You could have like sledding, like a like a water park, essentially. Think of like all the awesome places that you've been. Frozen margaritas. Oh, you could make it an alcohol place. <laughs> I didn't even think about yeah, that aspect dude, of it. Snowy drinks. Ooh, I like that. I like frozen shit. Oh, like in the I'm not su- a frozen drink guy. What? Dude, I learned I, my lesson. If I go to the fucking if in the summer, if I go to a bar and they have anything frozen, I'm like. Give me it. No, see, I, I I used to be like that, but then like you, what I would do is I would drink it so fast that like there would just be a layer of just frost, and I would just suck up all the liquid alcohol. I swear to God, I didn't do that on purpose. I think I just had like a fucking stroke of some sort. You just connected five words. <laughs> you struck it like a liquid alcohol. And you know what? When I started doing that, because you remember when we went to Miami and we would get the the Corona Ritas? Yeah. Frozen dogs. Oh my god, I love them so much. Yeah, the, yeah. You can't, you can't let those. You can't chug those bitches. I mean, you no, you have to, you have to. No, you can't because they're too frozen. Well, yeah, that. But like, you can't like let it sit in the sun because yeah. it will fucking cook that bitch. Yeah. And a warm Corona. Disgust. I'd, I'd rather drink a fucking bat's blood. Well, that's how we've gotten here, Joey. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well yeah. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I forget about the bat. People, I think it's been disproven. Like people, like are at this point are like it's no longer bat related. It's not bat related. The Chinese made it on purpose to infect the United States. They got us. And the aliens knew. Also, real quick, Alien Federation, Galactic Federation, hiding in plain sight, aliens. They don't have some technological ology to help us with the coronavirus? So something? We're just sitting back and like just watching us fuck ourselves in the ass. Can we cure something, aliens? Yeah. What kind of technology do you have? At like the beginning of 2020, they were probably like, "Let's see how this year goes. Maybe we'll maybe we'll talk to you next January." And now they're like, "Dude, we need to wait." Yeah. We need to wait. We need to wait a couple months because people are out there like, "Yo, like honestly, like the coronavirus doesn't exist. It comes from the 5G towers." Also like, so this is just bear with me here. Isn't it crazy how, like, let's just say hypothetically this is true, right? That these aliens are like, we don't want to talk to the public yet um, because it'll cause cause mass hysteria. Isn't it weird to think that humans, I guess it makes sense because now we're socializing to thinking like there are people who are in charge that should get information first. Mm -hmm. 
But wouldn't it be weird to know that aliens also live by that sort of weird code where it's like, there's people in charge. We'll tell them, but we won't tell the rest of the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? If they're here, they're like, how do they know? Why are they like, I mean, I guess it's noble of them to be like, we're going to wait on you to talk to your peeps. You know, like, you know how like people would be like, you know, like, you know, invite everyone to the party. And it's like, I'm, I'm waiting until I get a direct but invite. It's, it's crazy because like animals are like that too. You know what I mean? Where it's like this gorilla is clearly clearly the one who's like in charge so like but if they, if the aliens were able to get here let's be honest they could fuck us up so oh. like why wait you know like why well, be i don't like, think they're gonna fuck us up i hope not well if i mean they're guys, being compassionate they're like we don't want to scare anyone i mean if this is real chances are one is listening at least that'd be dope dude, dude. come on here dude, dude. come on the show I, I, you don't have to come now because obviously like hysteria yeah also i'd be kind of scared of you dude but like we're, we're willing to learn yeah. Joey. we're but, willing like, to learn you and definitely love. gotta give me like just like, just something. Listen, Gleekplorp, don't like. Is that his name? Might be, or her, or they have a race that we like. It's like a gender. We don't. Like, there's a lot of genders now. There's I, I tons. Think, I think there's they've they've nailed all of them. Yeah, like Gleekplorp, we will listen and like, <laughs> we will be compassionate. We won't like out you or like try to kill you. I just want to kiss an alien. To be straight up honest. I want to like. What's their version of like beer? Like, what if, like, he comes some down... Some galactic sauce. Some galactic federation sauce. And then, like, what are they, like, if they, like, whatever we think is awesome on our planet, what do they have that's also awesome? Yeah, let's start a business. Like, do they, like, have, like, a tool where they can, like, sit on it and they experience, like, pure happiness? I want that. Also want to get drunk off their juice. We have that. It's called a Sibian. What's that? A Sibian? You didn't know what a Sibian is? I don't know what that is. It's like a thing that you sit on and it vibrates a lot and it gives women orgasms. Like oh, it's a, it's a cum machine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't need. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking like just like happiness and joy. I mean, it's pretty joyful to come. But but then it's gone. Like I want to experience it for a while. Not you know, if you, not if you keep sitting on it. I guess so. I know that would be uh, torture. Once you're done, Joey, you're done. You know, like oh, like that's you would be like not having fun. I'm never getting it a ride. I don't know. <laughs> We shall see. But anyway, I'll, get you, I'll get you a simian. If one there day. is an alien out there that's hiding in plain sight and you're watching this and you're like, oh my God, they're onto us, you can wait until the Federation <laughs> yeah. decides that it's time for us to hear. But as soon as we hear, dude, you're coming on the show. Dude, I would love to talk to you. Seriously. Yeah. And I want you to shed your human skin because we know it's fake. If we get an alien before Joe Rogan does, that would be awesome. Yeah, we're probably not. Pretty sure Anya Taylor Joy, the girl from Queen's Gambit's an alien. So if tell her to come on the show too. Really good at chess. Yeah. Anyway, where can they find you, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> I always think about like how are people gonna categorize like the summary of the show? No fucking clue. One time someone made this thing and I posted it. I think I posted it on the Instagram. Um, but they they wrote out every single topic that we talked about, and it was like a full page. Of everything and it was just literally like this dot this dot this dot like each topic and it just filled the entire page and i was like ah, this is a, a that's pretty cool mess. if someone does that with this episode or any of our episodes Good i'd luck. be pretty impressed yeah yeah uh falvers8085 on twitter and on twitch if you want to come hang with me and play video games and then uh the frank albers on instagram <laughs> i know you hate when i talk like that yeah, yeah! Uh, guys, go follow the show at The Basement Yard, and you can follow me on social media at Joe Santagato. And uh, our Patreon, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You get every episode a week in advance, and you also get uh, a bonus episode every single week of this show on there as well. And uh, that's all. See you guys next time. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy, happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy holidays. All of them. All of them. All the stuff. All of them.